Hi, I'm Joanna Penn from thecreativepen.com and I'm here in Zurich for a writer's convention and it's quite early morning and I'm here at one of the big churches and behind me you can see uh, this is the flames of Pentecost coming down on the Apostles uh, which is quite exciting for me because my first book is called Pentecost and I found this door and I thought that's awesome that I can find kind of things from my books anywhere so I thought that you'd like that but today I'm going to be telling you a bit about speaking and uh, some tips so I get questions all the time about speaking, so I thought I'd share some things about it with you today. So for me, the number one thing is probably preparation. Ideally, I like to do a questionnaire beforehand to get a sense of who my participants are. And then I always try and tailor my material to the specific event. Now, I'm a content presenter, so I use a lot of slides. Um, and I use the style of TED presentations or Zen presentation, so more images than words, so not death by PowerPoint, more a sort of addition to what I'm saying. Preparation is critical, so I always um, have my slide pack. I also make sure it's on the internet. Uh, I carry a USB stick. I give it to the um, whoever's doing the, the workshop, and uh, I always make sure I have lots of backup, so just in case things go wrong. So people also always want to know about nerves and feeling nervous before speaking. You know, there's this thing that says some people would rather die than speak in public. So my feeling with this, and this is something somebody taught me a while back, is that the nerves are not nerves. If you relabel them, reimagine them as uh, Shakti, this is what uh, my teacher Robert Rabin taught me, um, Shakti being energy, is an Indian word, um, and if you think of it as the energy you need to present instead of nerves that will stop you presenting, so you reframe that, that feeling in your stomach, then that will actually help you perform, and that's probably the third thing is a performance so for me when I speak I'm about 150% me so um, I am putting on a certain amount of energy and I give that energy to my audience as I speak um, I'm a very energetic speaker um, but I'm obviously not like that all the time or I would be dead <laughs> So I definitely get nervous, uh, everybody gets nervous, that doesn't change, it's just how you use that energy. How do you actually learn how to speak? So when I decided that I wanted to change my career about four years ago, I decided that speaking was part of the repertoire I wanted to have. Um, I love being an author, I love writing, but I also need uh, some kind of people contact. <laughs> um, and I also really enjoy helping people and seeing the art, you know, people's eyes when they get something like um, print on demand is a great one. When people understand that, they just, you know, they love it. Um, so I really like empowering authors. So anyway, I started off by going to the National Speakers Association, which has branches all over the world. And I did their Speakers Academy, and I also learned from professional speakers who do this, you know, 100% as their living. So I did learn, I invested in learning. Then I spoke for free, so I did quite a lot of, of speaking for free. I do very little of that now. Um, so after a while, you can actually start charging for your services, and most people start very low, um, you know, £100 here, and, you know. Um, but you can go up over time and as your experience grows and as your reputation grows. It's really important to learn as you go as well, so feedback's critical. So I always make sure at the end of my talks I do like a feedback form so people can tell me what they think, and that helps me craft the material for next time. So how do you even get speaking appearances? Well, that's something I've been building up over time. I have basically, I think, almost never solicited for speaking work. I just get booked based on my author platform online. So I have a speaking page and then I'm on Twitter, on Facebook, all those things that we're told we have to do. And people find me that way. So that's pretty much how I got started. So thank you. I'm Joanna Penn from The Creative Pen in Zurich. <laughs>